Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. Happy Friday to you all. Hope everybody's having a great day and I hope everybody has a great weekend. And as you can see here behind me, we have Karma C7. And based on the title and thumbnail of today's video, she's a little wounded. She is a little wounded and uh, you know, Romina's pretty upset about it, but you know, you live and you learn, mistakes happen. And Romina made her first mistake in Karma C7 about three weeks ago ish somewhere around there so with today's video we are gonna go and try and fix that mistake get her all straightened out cleaned up the thing's disgusting I'm looking at it now it's nasty but it has been sitting for a while and uh, our plan is to surprise her today she has no idea that I'm filming this video she has no idea that I'm working on the car uh, again it is Friday and I know she loves to have her Corvette for the weekend and considering she hasn't driven it in quite some time because of the little cosmetic uh, problems. I'm assuming she's gonna be pretty stoked on this if we can get this thing finished. So uh, let me get the car pulled out of the garage real quick and we'll go over and I'll go ahead and show you exactly what happened with Karma. <laughs> Let's go ahead, show you guys what we're gonna be working on today. And you could probably tell, that should probably give you an idea, that big old long package right there. All right, let me, let me chill with that. Before I go ahead and tell you guys, just know, things happen. Things happen, man. Everybody makes mistakes. And uh, you know, I kinda have to throw myself under the bus before I go and throw her under the bus. But you guys know, I made a whole video uh, probably about f five, six months ago when I was driving Belucifer to the gym and I was texting and driving and I completely smacked the curb, bent my wheel like beyond repair and completely bent my strut in half. It was bad, but you know, live and learn. I no longer text and drive, <laughs> believe me. And uh, you know, it's, shit happens, shit just happens and Ramina just so happened to find herself in a situation to where she gonna learn today and she learned all right but here we go here's what's wrong with the car so her and her friend went to go grab some dinner one night and Ramina you know she's very smart and she knows to park in like curb spots you know like in a parking lot if there's a curb and it's empty you always take the curb spot because that's just one less spot somebody else gets to park next to you and possibly ding the door oh my god I just literally almost grabbed that bee Did you see that? That thing like fell in the pot. Okay, anyway, so she parked in the curb spot and she was leaving and she cut the wheel a little too early and completely wiped out the side skirt. And we got a nice little boo-boo there on the, on the wheel. But the side skirt, it's completely destroyed. It's busted. Um, I haven't really, I see there's like a screw missing, so hopefully the new ones come with it. But yeah, she got the side skirt really good. And you know, thankfully, that's all the damage to the car. Um, I went over it, I drove it around, there's nothing else, you know, happening, anything feels weird, nothing like that. But you know, it could have been a lot worse, so I'm just so grateful that, you know, as far as the wheel, it's just that little boo-boo right there, which, you know, we're not gonna get it perfect today, but I just so happen to have black touch-up paint. I think she got these from like Extreme, Extreme Corvette Supply or so, I don't know, something like that. But we're gonna crack those things open. And then while we're at it, I told her to go ahead and order, oh, we're gonna need that. But the Z06, um, I don't even know what these are called, but they go in the fender well, and it's like another lip that comes out and it protects like from rock chips and stuff like that going down the side of the car if you're throwing rocks and stuff. So that should look really good. And we're gonna try to slap those on today. I don't know the quality on these. I don't know if they're good fit or not, but that's what we're doing. And it I literally just hit me. I didn't tell you guys, but Blucifer does have some minor boo-boos. And uh, here we go, throwing myself underneath the bus because again, shit happens. I got, a motorcycle, well, I, I currently have two street bikes now, 
and uh, this one is for sale. This is the one that you guys saw the video on. This is my 2017 Kawasaki Z650 with 4,000 miles on it. And uh, you know, I'm looking to get rid of this one because a buddy of mine was selling this 2018 Kawasaki Z650 with the green um, frame that I really wanted when I was looking for a bike, but I couldn't find any. And you know, it just so happens after I bought this one, he put this one up for sale a week later and I had no idea he had it, but has the shorty mirrors, it has a two brothers exhaust, and ultimately this is the Kawasaki that I wanted from the jump, and now I'm stuck with this one. So if anybody wants to join, you know, wants to join the bike game, let me know. I have a perfect bike for you. This thing gets down. But ever since I got the bikes, I needed room, you know, to walk them in and out. So Blucifer has to come in, you know, towards the right more and you could see the garage door like I can't back up I have to shimmy it so if I want to pull this car out I actually have to pull it up this way a little bit and then back it out more well with doing that I kind of I may have clipped this freaking shelf one day and man am I pissed but you know we got the bumper we got the bumper pretty good and you know thankfully you can barely probably see it but i have grabber blue touch up paint and you know i made an oopsie it happens so we got karma c7 jacked up from the rear which is probably going to give us plenty of room to work with these side splitters and thankfully slash luckily i want to say these are the exact same brand we'll know for sure once i pull the old one off but you can see with you know how dirty it is this is the carbon flash color it's like a black metallic and I guess it's a stock color with these C7s um, because we found these online and it looked like it was the carbon flash color too. So uh, she did good buying these and it looks like it's identical. So it does look like she cracked this a little bit. Nothing crazy though. Um, you can see some of these self tappers are already coming out. So yeah, these are, I think these are the exact, oh, and yep, same brand. So she lucked out. She looked up big time, but I'm gonna go grab the drill, rip these off, and they are held on by 3M. So we have both old skirts here, both new skirts, just applied the 3M, and Mark's cleaning that side now. The other side should be dry, and we're gonna go ahead and install slash bolt in the new side skirts, and we'll pick this up as soon as we do that. I think the heat made this way, way worse than it should have been, but let's go ahead and lower it. Hell yeah. We did get the side skirts on. They are all fastened up. As far as the curved wheel, I went ahead and sanded it as best as I could. And you can still see the paint's a little wet right there. But you know, I went in and touched in with some uh, gloss black paint. And once that dries, I think it's, you know, you're not gonna see it if you don't know it's there. We're gonna know it's there because I showed you guys, but you know, it's, it's gonna look good. So I think she's gonna be amped on this, at least I hope. I went ahead and installed these badass red paddle shifter extenders for her steering wheel. So they are freaking sweet and it has some nice weight to them. They're aluminum. So, you know, when they click, cause we only run this car in manual mode to completely disable the four cylinder mode that Chevy puts in their cars. Let's go and get this thing cooled off. I'm dying. And uh, you know, do me a favor boys, ladies, drop a like on this video. I appreciate it so much. Just made it to the touchless. Get this old dirty girl cleaned up. I really like this, uh, this car wash too, cause it does a really good job of cleaning and drying without touching the car. Especially on a hot day like today. Like Romina, I know you're watching this, I love you. But um, yeah, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be out here hand washing because it's 96 right now and there's a high of 98. And I swear, when I was putting those side skirts on, it was 98.5. It was hot. All right, we got Karma all cleaned up and man, does this car look insane with a fresh wash. The body lines on a C7 are just on another level. By far, one of the best looking Corvettes to ever go down in history, no doubt about it but this thing's looking freaking mint. I haven't seen it look like this in a while. So, Romina, no more curbs, all right? And let's keep this thing clean. All right, we're locked and loaded. Got some smoothies, got some lunch. Now, let's go deliver the car to Romina and get her reaction. So we're pulling up to her work right now, and I'm gonna try to finesse this somehow. Hello? 
Hey, I just got you a smoothie. I was visiting dad, so. Uh, okay, I'm coming. All right, bye. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I have an Uber delivery from Barrick Darren. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Why? Wait, can we swap? Can I drive this home? Of course. Yes. That's why I brought it. Thank you. Uh huh. Are you happy? Yes. Yeah? Did you look at the wheel? Yeah, I looked at it. I can't see anything at all. Well, if you can't see it, then that's good. Oh, it's right there. But I can't see it. Oh, you installed my things. Hey, I like this a lot. Click them. They have nice weight to them now. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm hmm. It's all fixed. Both splitters are on. I washed it for you. I know. It looks so clean. You happy to have uh, it back? You're the best. He's the best. Y'all subscribe. Like, this man is amazing. It looks good. Yay! What are we, what are we gonna focus on now? Not hitting any curves. No more curves, right? No more curves. No more curves. I'm so excited. You well, it's all fixed up now. It's all cleaned. So everything's good to go. Can I get the keys? Yeah, I need the keys to the Mazda. You ready to sell it? No. Get a no, I'm GT so excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's another curb. Yo, chill. <gasps> You're doing the next one. I think I just lost about 40 pounds worth of water weight putting these on. Were they hard to put on? No, it wasn't hard, it was just hot. It was more yeah. hot than anything and I was dying. Love you. Let me kiss, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't stop smiling. I, I was coming out of the elevator and I saw red and I was like. <laughs> oh, I knew I had to get the smoothie as a cover up because if <laughs> I just said come out. Yeah, then that would have been, like... been sketch. <laughs> yeah. Mission success, guys. We did it. We surprised Romina with fixed Karma C7. And uh, yeah, I just woke up from a nap. The heat is here, that's for sure. I just want to go ahead and thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. Uh, last video, I know it was completely different. It was the first ever Moto vlog I've ever posted on the channel out of the five, six years I've been creating content. Um, I see a lot of you, you know, obviously the views account for the response of the Moto vlogs. So I've been taking that into consideration and I'm more than likely going to start up a separate channel just for bike content. I don't want to, you know, push out content that you guys just don't want to see. It's not fair to the car people. But um, yeah, I just want to go ahead and thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below. Uh, just say hi. Everything helps the algorithm, honestly. And, you know, we're going to be back Monday with another video. And I hope each and every one of you have a blessed weekend. Have fun. I know Ben and I are about to take the bikes out tonight, so I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want more Moto Vlogs on the separate channel, let me know. But until next time, we'll see you later.